Hey guys, it's Hajime Chan, and today we have Izuru Kamakura Jr. Jr. the third. Yeah, Izuru Kamakura the third. We have a cat. No, we don't. Also, we're playing Two Truths and a Lie. I almost said Two Truths and a Dare, that's not all that. Alright, so I know we've talked about this, but I just want the viewers to know that, I mean, you did something, you know, you brought Kamalai to here. To this channel. To this futon. Yes. And. Are sitting right where you are. Well, we've watched it since then. We did a little wipe down. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I think you have an apology to make to me. I wasn't prepared. It was a stressful experience for me. If I had told you it was going to happen, wouldn't you just have been more stressed out waiting for it to happen? I would have prevented it from happening. I would have run away. I wouldn't have loved that. He's he's saying this as though he never has to spend time with Kamida, but every day. Well, it's it's every day. It's, during it's different on camera to have can someone I on my explain, personal channel. Can I explain your relationship? My personal with channel. No, there's no. I mean that every day he during the talent time when everyone's trying to learn more about their talents and such, he teams up with Kamida to go in and watch everyone else's talents and take notes. Well, yeah, because everyone else already has a talent, and Kamida, his talent is... I mean, it's luck, but... He volunteers to be the observer yeah. one every day, so no one else has to do it and miss their talent time. Yeah. But you need to have two people to do it, so... How do you mean? So, every day he spends at least two hours with It's Kamida. not my decision. No one else can do it, except for him. Sometimes I see you two laughing and smiling together. Walking outside. Can you edit- can you edit out that part? Why? Cause- they don't need to know it. So you're thinking it's true? They well yeah, it's, it's more fun if you have a good time. So you're saying but you're making yourself have a good time? No. Edit- edit that out. That section, like, from there to there. Just edit that out. We don't need that. How was your time with Kamida? then, on the video. Why don't you yeah. tell the viewers, now that Kamida's not here, what it was like? Um, stressful. Uh, he smells bad, so that was unpleasant. He doesn't... He smells pretty bad, he doesn't. Sometimes. But it doesn't bother me. Well, it bothers me. I think loneliness is important, and he's uh, dirty. <laughs> I mean, I, I told everyone Kamida will never be on this channel, and I was powerless against it. And when he came, I I was unprepared. I was taken aback, and uh, there was nothing I could do. So I apologize for all the people out there who also hate Kamida and expected this to be a Kamida-free channel, and were disappointed. By it. I don't think anyone would expect that since. You've been talking about him almost every episode. Anyone who hates Kamida probably would have been driven off by now. You know, I don't like how snarky you're being, either. It's better to have a banter in a video. Not that this is fake, it's just more of the usual. I think you need to tone it down and consider my feelings. Put on your concealing the feelings, pretend to be cool. I'm not, it's not pretend to be cool. I am cool. And I, I mean, pretend to be cool inside right now instead of angry. You can do the rest of the video. I'm just here to look cool. All right, two truths and a lie. Ready? Yes. Okay. We prepared some questions beforehand because spontaneity is hard. Is that how you say that? Spontaneity. Yeah. Okay. So my first round is. So, I listened to the High School Musical soundtrack, I listened to One Direction, and I've taken a ballet class with Kamida. With Kamida? Yeah. I can see why you would take a ballet class, but I don't know why Kamida would be there. Well, I think it's true that you listen to High School Musical. Perhaps you're the kind of person who would stop listening to One Direction once, you know, they fell apart. So, they I'll just split that. up. A lot of people were sad about that. That's the lie I'll choose. Because the, the one direction is a lie? I just don't know why you'd be in a ballet class with Kamida. Although it could happen because of your talent observing things. <laughs> You're too good at this. So 
so I choose the One Direction. Yes, the One Direction is a lie. Why are we even playing this game? You're just gonna guess all of mine. I thought it was good. It was very good. I had to think about it. Yeah. But yeah, um, I was gonna take a ballet class to like see if my talent was ballet. Like I was okay. I was desperate. I wanted to have a talent. I still do. Um, if you like know a talent that I might have, like hit me up. So I was going to like test my talent, and as I was like walking in, I saw something out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, wow. so like a con ball or something, you know? Um, and I turned around, and it was Kamai, and I was like. <laughs> What's he doing here? And um, it turns out that he also came to ballet. But why? Because he knew I was going to be there. Because he knew you were going to be there? Yeah, that is what we were scheduled, but I wanted to go along. So, let's see. So, um, we went to the ballet class, and I suck at ballet. It's hard to become good at something in one try. What do you mean? Yeah, but I didn't like feel it. I didn't feel because of the thing. Alright, lay it on me. Okay, one. I punched a shark in the face. Take off those glasses. I can only see myself. Not that I don't want to look at myself, but when you look at someone else, you expect to see their face and not yours. Punch a shark in the face. Okay. Um, a researcher got bitten by a spider from a nest of poisonous spiders, and I had to carry him away from the nest while giving him first aid. Is this going to give me a heart attack? Because if any of these are true, is there dangerous situations? Or I played Russian Roulette. Well, Russian Roulette better be a lie. No. <laughs> what was a lie then? You have 50 50. Luck Talent. Come on, I did two. Although, likely they would have put some sort of fake bullet in but they told okay. me they told me it was real well I, I'm, I'm sure it was fake i mean they wouldn't they wouldn't do that that's that's too dangerous even even for them that's that's going too far so it must have been a fake bullet it must have been i did play russian roulette with real bullet i would be able to tell by the weight if it was a fake bullet um Due to the nature of the luck talent, it could not work if it was if I was aware that it wasn't real. And obviously I was, so it was a real bullet, but I was in no danger of dying because we had already tested the luck talent on like everything else. This was my final test. Anyway, back to the video. I mean I know you did go like deep sea diving in a tank with a shark. But I don't remember if you punched it or not. What was the other one? The spiders. Oh right, okay. Um, I think that you punched a shark is a lie. That's correct. Oh, wait, really? Mm -hmm. oh, well, I mean, I guess it took me two tries, but... I would not be so good at, I mean, so poor at deep sea diving that I would need to punch a shark. The goal is to blend in. I mean, would you want to punch one of these guys? Okay, um, next one is, I know the underwear of every classmate in my class. Uh, I used to eat worms when I was younger, and I once drank a glass of orange juice knowing that there was a bug in it. The orange juice is true. The underwear, though, I don't know why you would know that. What is the lie? Well, I hope the underwear. So the underwear is a lie? Yes. But that's wrong. The worms was a lie. I've never eaten a worm. Why do you know the underwears of every student? Um, it's not important. It's just... I composed a symphony which is just one man screaming to annoy researchers. That, <laughs> that does sound like something you would do. I helped facilitate a day of chaos using Kalmada's luck to help Matsuda... Is it every day a day of chaos with Kalmada's To help Matsuda take the day off, so specifically... Oh. Or I invented the iPhone. You didn't invent the iPhone. Secretly. You didn't invent the iPhone. The iPhone X. You didn't invent the iPhone X. How do you know that? But I feel like I would know if you were working on an iPhone X. You wouldn't. It wouldn't take that long. I wouldn't take it home or anything. Um... Okay, so it's either iPhone X... 
screaming. screaming. Or helping Matsuda. Yes. Helping Matsuda sounds very likely because the man needs sleep. Honestly, he's like very overworked. You're trying to convince me that you invented the Equinox, so I guess I'll believe you instead. That. But I. The other two. You didn't invent the Equinox. You're right, I didn't. <laughs> I hate you. Of course you didn't invent the Aquamax. I wanted to see if I could get you to think I did. Well, you didn't. For a couple seconds. Suddenly your eyes. For a couple of seconds I believed you, but... You didn't invent the Aquamax. No, no. Okay. No, but the Screaming Symphony, that was good. Yeah. Can I hear it sometime? It was 60 pages long, I don't think you want to. Okay, so Kamaina got me kicked out of a bowling alley. I almost drowned because of a water fountain, and I stole Chiaki's old 3DS and she doesn't know it was me. If it's the last one, that makes you not a very good person, necessarily. But, I don't know, why would you steal it? It would have had to have been an accident that you slipped it into your backpack by accident. Or a prank that got out of your hands. Or, water fountain. I can see you choking on water. Hey! But I That's... doubt that it, that would be the story. I'm curious though, so I'm saying that's true. Which one's false? Chiaki. Chiaki's true. I don't know how to tell her that I took it, so I still have it. It was gonna be a joke. I took it for like a couple of seconds, and then like, I just didn't give it back. And... You know, I don't know how to tell her, so... It's just... Why? You know she watches these videos. Well, maybe this is for the best. Chiaki, okay. Chiaki, if you're watching this, I... I'm so sorry I stole your 3DS. I didn't mean to. Well, I did, but I didn't mean to take it for this long. Um, I know you've been looking for it, and I've been helping you look for it, and I'm sorry. Um, been, if you want it, I have it. You've involved yourself in the crime. You're well, that kind of criminal. I felt bad. I wanted to help. I, um, yeah, I have it. You have all of the games on it still. So I all her save files are still Yeah, there. of course. That's good. Um, yeah, I have it, so. Stop by here. Well, so which one was the lie? Oh, um, the bowling alley was a lie. It was a baseball game. A baseball game? Yeah. Why were you at one with him? To watch baseball. Huh? It was with a bunch of friends. Come on, I got a small kick down. What happened? Alright, so we were watching the baseball game mostly because it was Leon, like he was playing. Um, so we were all sitting watching, I was like eating popcorn, having a good time. And then, um, Leon hits the ball. And it flies in Kamaida's direction. It was really wild too, like it like curved. It was like a curved ball, but it curved into the audience. And um, Kamaida caught it, but the force of it was too strong. So he just like flew backwards, hit a hot dog stand, and almost killed someone. Um, so he got kicked out. But he still has the ball, and he got Leon to sign it. I suppose his dream came true. Mm -hmm. Um, but what's the story with the water fountain? Oh, okay, so, um, we were cleaning in Miss Yuki Zenmai's room because I think I, like, got in trouble during class or something, I don't remember. But, um, we had to clean afterwards. Um, uh, Kamaida was staying behind too because he was waiting for me to do, like, the talent thing. And so we were just cleaning, doing some dusting, that sort of thing, and then Kamaida knocked over a bag of sand that was in the room. And that got everywhere, that got on me, got on Kamaida, it was in the air, it was dusty, it was sandy. Kamaida, he probably felt bad. So he went and got some refills for water bottles, and he went over the to, to the water fountain. And he started filling them up, when suddenly it broke, and it just exploded. It exploded, and it like shot him back into the classroom, slammed into me, rolled everywhere. And it turned all the sand on the ground into mud. Oh. And that mud was everywhere. And it was disgusting, and it was so much more to clean. And then Kamaida found, like, an oyster shell. And in the inside was, like, a diamond. Oh, what? Like, like a, a valuable- 
Yeah, pearl. no, pearl, that's what it is. It's some yeah. valuable gem that you find in shells. And just at that time, Miss Yukizama came in and she saw the huge mess that Komaida had made. And, uh, well, we gave her the pearl so that she would clean for us. Uh, because she's a housekeeper. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've had these in sort of categories relating to each other. And these are bad things that I've done. Okay, well, bad in your view, I suppose. Okay. Just so you know, like, I'm gonna remember this. Sold drugs, slept with three people in one day, and written a pornographic fanfiction. I don't know what to say. Um, is this real? Yes, one of them is a lie, though. I didn't want to find out this way that you still sell drugs. I think you should just quickly guess. Okay, um. Uh, the second one's a lie. The sleeping with three people on yeah. Monday? No, that's true. <laughs> It's the, um, writing pornographic fanfiction that's not true. So you sold drugs? Yes, pharmaceuticals. So not like... Not like weed or anything. Oh my god, why would you... And so You played with my emotions! I slept with you, Matsuda, and Komaida. All three naps. That's why I started to feel a little bad there in the middle when you were really taking it seriously, though. Well, of course I'd be taking it seriously! Which is why I told you to quickly guess. like it one bit. I don't know what on earth kind of a motive I would have for selling actual drugs. A drug selling talent? <sighs> a drug selling talent. That's an odd talent. Drug dealer. So it's talent. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> um, I once had an entire conversation with the surprised level imposter thinking he was you. Um, I've tried every single one of my classmates talents and I don't like a new cat. Are the lies that you don't like are cat. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yeah, it's a lie. I love your cat. Good. But yeah, I once had a conversation with you, but it was really the super ass level imposter. How did that? Well, it was a phone conversation. That makes sense. Yeah. What did I say? Um, did I... you call me or did I call you? I called you. Man, my tongue is gargling. I sincerely hope not. Okay. It's not. It's not. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's your turn. I've climbed the side of Hope's Peak at night after sneaking out of this room to meet someone. Who? Someone. I've eaten durian fruit. Okay. I've snuck <coughs> into the headmaster's office with Komaida. Why would you do that? It was at night. We broke in. Is this true? Well, is it? Can I call can I call Komaida and ask him? No. Oh. I would hope you did none of those things. Not even eaten durian fruit? Oh well. What was the first one? What are the details? Um, I climbed Hope's Peak at night. at night to meet someone secretly. Well, I don't know who that would be, so I guess that's a lie. No, that's true. Who? Enoshima Junko. Why her? Well, she told me to, but I left pretty quickly. It was very boring. She freaks me out, to be honest. I can understand that. The lie was I've eaten durian fruit. I couldn't do it. You really? It smelled too bad. I started gagging. Oh, wow. Well, that's... That's a good one. Because I wouldn't have thought that. Yes, because my senses are so tu tuned up, you know? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So, I could not bear putting that in my mouth. Now I kind of want to eat a durian. You don't. You don't want to eat a durian. And if you but do... That could be like can't. the one thing that I can do that you can't do. If you do that, don't come near me for a at least a day. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know where I would buy a durian anyway, so... You get it from Teratur. Oh, I really don't want it. And so you did sneak into the headmaster's office with Yes. Why? Why? To see who the new applicant, who the new students will be. 
Why was Kamal? Uh, he wanted to see who the new students would be. Mm -hmm. Did you get caught? Well, obviously not. No, we didn't. Yes, the statute of limitations has passed. I checked the rule book. Uh, we can't get in trouble for it anymore, so that's why I'm saying We're it. We're good to post. Yes. Alright. So here's my next set. Last set. Last set. Um, Paco tried to kill me four times. I've never made my own orange juice, and one time I put gum in your hair and then cut it off before you noticed. I would notice. I would. I feel that in a moment of desperation you would have squeezed an orange. But is that really orange juice? Yes. Oh. Well, I mean, I have squeezed an orange, but not with much success. Ah. Uh, so that's true. That's true. Well, then you've never put it in my hair. Gum in your hair. And I actually have it in And you're right, it was when you were asleep. Why'd you put it in there? I just wanted to see what would happen. We're it was like the you're much more of a malicious pranks person than we would have known. Well, sometimes, I can, yeah, sometimes. First Chiaki, you know this. Uh, Pekka was a lie. It's actually three times that she tried to kill me. Mm. Tell me about them. Yeah, sometimes it's like, I've said something dumb, or like- I'm guessing she's threatened to kill you a lot more than three times. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, she threatens to kill a lot of people. Right? Sweet. These are all things I've done that Hope's Peak didn't want me to do. Well, that I was secret from Hope's Peak. Are these all mostly secret from Hope's Peak? I've spent an evening making flipbook animations with the Mitrais. Oh. Wait, by the Mitrais, you mean imposter Mitrais? And the other one. The, the real one? <laughs> yes, both of them. Okay. The Mitrais. Yeah. I've just never heard them referred to as the Mitrais before. Oh. Like the Togamis, when that happens. Yeah, I don't... I think we have enough with just one Togami. Like, one is just already too much. And I'm not even the same grade as him. And I'm already terrified. And the last one Wait, was, what was the second one? <laughs> the second was I've gone shopping with Ibuki. Okay, why would you put that in there? That's... You're trying to trick me? What? You're trying to trick me? That's so boring. Like, but I don't get to go shopping. Oh yeah, oh my god. I would have Wait, to shopping like peak to do that. Oh, I thought maybe it was just at the school store or something. No. Okay. And um. I've gone riding a motorcycle with Awada at night on the same motorcycle. Were you wearing a helmet? If it was true. So is it not true? Oh. Um. That's not what I meant when I said that. I'm saying if it is true. Then yes, I was practicing on the safety. Motorcycle with a water sounds dangerous, but I've heard that he gives people motorcycle rides. So I feel like if you went shopping, you would get caught. So I'm gonna say that that's a lie. Why shopping versus motorcycle riding? Because when you're on a motorcycle, you can be caught as easily. You can just drive away. Also, it's hard to recognize someone with a helmet. Well, you've had good logic. Ibuki okay. was the lie. Oh, nice. Um, Wait, have we guessed all of them so far correctly? No. Okay. I did go riding a motorbike, and that was very nice. Um, the wind was very pleasant. And so you were wearing a helmet? I was, yes. Okay, good. Seeing the city at night. No, yeah, that sounds nice. So is there any truth to shopping with Facebook or is that just... Um, we keep talking about it. Oh, okay. That's... It, right? I suppose. Unless we want to figure out who won. Oh, yeah. Can you do that in the edit? Yes. Okay, wait, no, I wanted to. Let's try to figure it out. So you got three more. You also got three more. We tied? That's so boring. We need to do a final round. Okay, so this is the final round. Winner takes all. Unless we tie. And then. I really have to get it down. <laughs> but I'm gonna stick with it. Okay. Um. Alright, you ready? Yes. Okay. I own 15 pairs of the same black pants. I replaced the old Juzo figure with a new one. And when I think really hard, I pretend to still board in my mind. It has to be the Juzo one because that was the last statue. Dang it, I forgot about that. I, and I know that you own black pants. I live yeah. in the same room as you. Well, I thought maybe you didn't like count them or something. You know me better than that. 
I'm mad. I really want to win this, but I can't. One time, Jeez. for my talent for writing, I wrote a romance novel. Well, I ghost wrote it under a pen name. A romance novel using you and Komaida as inspiration for the two main characters. Um, one time. How, wait, how did you think of this? Well, one time, um, while you were sleeping, your entire group of classmates came trying to cut off your hoge, and I had to fight them off. And three, um, to test Hope's Peak's security features, um, I went up against Juzo, um, Peko Peko Yama, Ikusaba Mukuro, um, to try and sneak into the fortress and fake kill the headmaster. Oh, okay. Um, and the headmaster didn't know. What's worrying me is that, is that the the romance novel, or the Ahoge oh, okay, cutting is one of them is true. Yeah. And one of them is true. Or both of them. Okay, it can't be that they're both true. I believe you that you could fend off Juzo and all those people. Um, because you're probably It's not clever. fending off them. It's sneaking past them and every other security force. Oh. Yeah, if it's just sneaking past, then you can totally do that. And then also fending off the bodyguards who are directly around the headmaster. I mean, I don't even know who those people are, so... Well, they actually tried to kill me because they didn't know. Okay, I'm gonna say that the romance novel thing is a lie because... But I don't think that my classmates would want to cut off my own game. Why would they want to do that? I don't is know. it jealousy? Because if someone's jealous of my hoge, then like that's their you problem. You play pranks involving hair too. You cut off part of mine. Not relevant. I need to. Anyway, if that was a lie, it would make sense for that lie to come up now because you mentioned cutting hair. Wouldn't it be? And so would the I'm in my snowboarding shut up. Let's play. I got it. It's the first one. The first the one's not all of what? Why? Because you wouldn't tell me. Why wouldn't I tell you? I'm telling you all sorts of things. I just, I feel like it, it just doesn't sit right with me. You're right, that's a lie. Yes. Wait, but no, it's still a tie. It's fine. We're just ending it with a tie. Let's end it with rock, paper, scissors. Wait. Whoever wins rock, paper, scissors. Don't you want to know more? About your classmates trying to cut off your ahoge? Oh yeah, I do. I did fend them off. I Like, I trusted them. It was that night. That's real? They were led by Hyoko and Ibuki. Why them? They wanted to play a prank on you, just like that's you That's not a prank, a prank. that would ruin my life. That's why I fend them off. Oh, thanks. I taught them how much you cared about it. I showed them all of your pots of... You didn't have to do that. It's so that that's embarrassing. So that they know how much you care about it. And well, it was my entire to. class. Yeah, they're all there. Even Chiaki? I'm not sure if they all wanted to. But they all got dragged there somehow. I'm gonna have to talk with Yoko and Ibuki about this. I can't sure they would were, do that. I'm sure there were other instigators as well. How do you mean? I can probably figure out who it was. Okay, rock paper scissors. Whoever wins wins. Okay. Is it one or best two or three? It's it's one. Shouldn't it be best two out of three so we can no, actually use some just, strategy? No, no strategy. Because if there's strategy, you'll win. This is based on luck. Crap, you have the luck. It's fine, whatever. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Let me tie <tired> everything. <laughs> We're twins. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> because he's learned a lot of traumatic things today. Yes. I give my win back to you. Why? Because you deserve it. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I don't really care, though. Well, neither do I. I just get competitive, but... You know, it doesn't matter who won this game of Two Truths and a Lie. What matters 
is we found out more about each other. And I found that that I can never trust my classmates again. Do you need a hug? Why, why would they do that, you know? They know my deal. Leave a like if you liked it. <laughs> Leave a comment if you want to. Um, thanks. Peace out, guys. Bye. <clears throat> Bye. I wanted to say that after Steve. <laughs> That's going in. <laughs> I am delicious. What the fuck? <laughs> One time I fought off while you were sleeping, your entire group of classmates trying to come in and cut off your hobe. Who won the game, Truth or Dare? It wasn't in Truth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the end, it, it doesn't matter who won this game of Two Truths and a Lie. What matters is I get to go kill my classmates. <laughs> <laughs>